University of Arkansas professor A.J. Malshi has always had big thoughts about small things, very, very small things. His research in nanotechnology has grown from the study of the submicroscopic into a business that employs research scientists, nanoparticles for lubricating machinery parts, and innovations in other areas, including energy saving, telecommunications, and homeland security. If you pose, or industry poses, or engineer poses, or a business leader asks me a question, that, for example, I walk in the plant and I say, well, we would like this machine tool to machine with 10x or 100x productivity, we know that what materials can do that, but we don't know how to deposit them. Do you know how to do that? My mind would quickly gravitate towards the processes, concepts. And so in 2000, I started thinking about uh, founding a company that I can transcend inventions, discoveries from the universities to a reality. Malshi founded Nanomech in 2002. Today, the company has a 9,000 square foot factory in Springdale, Arkansas, as well as corporate headquarters at the Arkansas Research and Technology Park in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Universities in the United States are part of a huge ecosystem uh, that's very well planned out when it comes to research and development, product development, and then tech transfer and commercialization. And it starts somewhere in the process of hiring these brilliant uh, professors and so forth. And, then providing them uh, capital to exploit their ideas, to take it to the next level. I have graduated students from mechanical engineering, from electrical engineering, from chemical engineering pathways. But somebody who worked with me was a mathematics undergraduate. So I have built a team of people with different talents and having them work on the projects that allow them cross-pollination of ideas. The University of Arkansas is becoming one of the epicenters in the world for nanotechnology uh, because of the amount of investment and time that's been taken over a period of eight to ten years to develop first the intellectual capital here and then in addition to that the regular capital investment to build uh, out the buildings, the facilities, the lab equipment and then populate it with really smart people from around the world. Another big advantage is that when you come up with the idea you can be similar effective in the classroom. Because if you really look at the textbooks, textbooks are written on the inventions and discoveries that occurred a decade before. But our students would be going in the reality world, which is now or tomorrow. So how can I be the best communicator of the past to the future? That I need to be present in both, you know? And so as a professor, but as a problem solver, or as an engineer, I realize that being an innovator uh, is one of the best part that you can be in and your students can be in and working with a business leader, that's how you can solve problems. Creating a business with university technology takes teamwork, a team of researchers, entrepreneurs and an educated workforce. Through the University of Arkansas, professors like A.J. Malshi can take their ideas from the lab bench to the factory and beyond.